How's it guys? Welcome to my home studio. My name is Kelly and on my channel I like to share planner videos, recipes, artsy videos, DIYs, mixed media, crafts, happy meal hauls, and sometimes I will throw in a lifestyle video. So today, as some of you may know, this is my recipe nook planner. It is the House of Flynn Traveler's Wallet and I keep a skinny half sheets with mini discs inside this and so we're going to do a recipe today i've pulled a few things i've pulled my recipe and this is one of the myriad of binders that i keep my recipes in this i made this it's a hello kitty binder one of those small ones and i have the larger index cards with my recipe written on it so this is a recipe for tea cake. A good friend of mine from Saudi Arabia shared this recipe with me. Um, and it is so simple and so good and super duper fast. So if you have guests that show up unannounced, you can whip this together super duper fast. And you have these things usually on hand. At least I do in my kitchen, in my pantry. So I have... Two micron pens out, 0 0.5 and 0 0.1. I find that um, I like it better with the 0 0.5 as the title of my recipe, the name of my recipe. I like it thicker and then i um, able to write super duper tiny with the 0 0.1 so I can get all the directions in on one half sheet. So that's why I pulled that. And then I thought I would use the home body um, sticker book by Happy Planner. And I've pulled out this half sheet and it is blue dot grid from the Glam Girl half sheets. And I've pulled some stickers already. And so let's get started. I really like this. Um, the tea cake is super, super good. So as you can see, this, if you've never seen any of my videos, this is my recipe, Nook Planner. This is the Everyday Fresh um, Skinny Half Sheets made by Happy Planner. I've made my own dividers out of craft plastic. I have a video. And then I added cardstock because I think it looks beautiful. And so I have a few sections. This is Chez Douvre for the main attraction. I have quite a few recipes already done. Apparently a lot of, a couple of different people requested me to do recipe videos. So I had no idea that you guys liked it so much. So I love it personally. So I'm very much into it and happy to share these. And this is a section called accoutrement. And I'm glad to know because if you don't comment and tell me those things, then I really don't know. Um, because I just film what I like doing. <laughs> so. And this is my beehive bread. And then I have a section for delicacies. So that is where this fits in. I have my mom's fudge here. Karu's mango bread here. Malasadas here. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. So basically these are your desserts. So that is where that is going to go. So without further ado, let's see. I've pulled some stickers. I love using the floral stickers and this color palette is just really gorgeous in my opinion. So, and I've cut them. So that way it's not too big so I can't write my recipes out and not too small so it gets lost on the page. Just write <laughs> as it were. So I am just going to lay my stickers down just like so and then I will bring you folks back and show you. Okay, here is how it turned out. Super duper pretty. These flowers are actually foiled with gold. Can you see that? 
How lovely is that? And then this is the back. Very, very pretty. I tend to put the quote on the back. So there's that. All right, so I'm gonna use my Micron and I am just going to write the recipe out and then I will bring you folks back. Okay guys, so I am all finished. Let's get this back in my traveler's wallet here under delicacies. Okay. This is really, really a good, in fast and easy recipe. It's one of those things that you use over and over and over again, really. So, tea cake, as it were. And I was able to fit it all on one side, so I can just do whatever I want and have a... I can do a long picture. I have many print, um, picture printers, so I can just configure that any way I want. The photo. Um, okay, so tea cake. Two cups of flour, which in Arabic is tagik. One and a half poop cups of sugar, which is just a cream cheese. Um, an Arabic style cream cheese. Um, the pook. And you can just substitute that for your cup. You know, um, a lot of home kitchens, you just... Um, a lot of people just use whatever cup they have, whether it's a coffee cup and that's their measurement. You know what I mean? And that was certainly the case here. So since everybody <laughs> eats that um, kind of cream cheese, it's just natural. It comes in a glass um, jar and it's like a glass. So that's just natural to use what you have. But you can use your measuring cup, no problem. So one and a half cups of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of powdered vanilla, three heaping tablespoons of Nido Nestle full milk powder. You may substitute that with one cup of milk for the Nido and omit one cup of water. Three eggs, one cup of water, and a half a cup of olive oil, which in Arabic means zibda. So dish preparation. Um, okay, so dish preparation. One teaspoon of tahini, tahina, or olive oil. So what tahina is, is some of you may already know, is sesame paste. Um, that is a base um, for hummus. So I like to make my own hummus personally. I like it. It tastes super, super good. And it's major protein because it's just your um, garbanzo beans, as it were. And I love it to eat that. <laughs> I could eat that every day or at least once a week for the rest of my life and never get sick of it. And it's very filling. So anyway, tahina is sesame paste. Now if you don't have that and you don't want to buy that just use olive oil um, but it gives it a nice flavor um on the pan because what you're doing is you're putting that on the bottom of your pan um, you can also we're gonna talk about something real quick you can also use that on your kalaya al nahal the recipe i did last week the beehive bread so when you do your you know your pan instead of using olive oil to prepare the pan you can paint it with the um, tahina the sesame paste because it gives it a nice flavor but you don't have to okay so directions prepare a long large long pyrex dish i have those big blue ones. I got them. I got like six sets and they came with a set of six different size pans because I like to marathon cook and so I need a lot of pans to do that and I use them all the time. So and they don't break easily. So I have those blue ones from Walmart. They sold them a few several years back um, in six packs and I mean they come in handy. So, 
Um, but you can use any kind of pan that you have. But it has to have, like if you just have a corningware dish, um, the kind with the lids on them, just you don't need the lid, but you can use that pan. So there's that. So prepare a large, long Pyrex dish. Now for this, I would double the recipe because you're going to get a layer about that big if you only make one recipe. So if you just make this recipe for yourself, use the smaller size um, Pyrex that's a square pan or any derivation of pan that you have. But um, we always double this recipe. So. Um, so you prepare your dish by painting it with one teaspoon of tahina or olive oil on the bottom and the sides of the pan. You preheat your oven to 300 to 350 degrees and you mix the batter ingredients starting with the dry. So two cups of flour, one and a half cups of sugar, baking, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of powdered vanilla, one heaping or three heaping tablespoons of nido. So mix all that together da, 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 and then add your wet ingredients. So three eggs, one cup of water and a half a cup of olive oil. Now, if you're not using the nido and you're using the, the just milk, now obviously you're going to omit the water, okay? And then just mix that in a mixer or in a small bowl. And the flour, just, you, you know, add it in one cup at a time because depending on where you live, uh, you know, it's going to take more or less of the flour. So you have two bowls, you have your dry and you have your wet. So, you know, you mix up your eggs and your milk and whatnot. And then, you know, you scoop it in to the wet little one cup at a time, basically. So if it feels too dry, obviously you stop because this is going to be like a cake, a box cake batter consistency as it were. And that's it. So add to the batter to the prepared dish. Bake at 300 to 350 degrees until golden. Um, maybe 20, 25 minutes, depending on where you live. And I just check the cake every 10 minutes until it's done. And that, my friends, is everything. It's so, so simple. Now, this is good anytime. Here's the back. Here's the back again. But like I said, pardon me. <clears throat> when you have unexpected company coming over <laughs> and that happens, um, this will get you out of a jam. If you don't have anything prepared, you can do this so, so fast. So no problem. All right, guys, that is everything short and sweet. I hope that if you enjoyed this recipe nook planner video, you consider subscribing to my channel and I hope you have a beautiful day. Peace out.